there's a if there is a pop cultural song about mausoleums, I'd be very surprised. Actually, I just don't know how to spell mausoleum. Anymore. I'm looking up how. It starts with an M. Yeah, I'm looking at how to spell mausoleum too. Actually. Really, neither of you. Can you, can you tell me how to spell it? Nope. M A U S O L E M. U M. Oh, there we go. M A U S O L E U M. I should I should have listened to to Rhiannon because she's she's the writer of the group. <laughs> I knew how to spell it. I'm just a jerk. Wow, there's a lot of muscle limbs. Thank you, thank thank you, thank you. I I I I did not expect any less. And... Number one song is by Beirut. It's from the Flying Club Cup Club. It's called In the Mausoleum. Really? Is it, is it about vampires? It's weird. It's gotta be about it. Well, duh. <laughs> There's a song called "In the Mausoleum," and the lyrics are weirding me out. No, there, there, saw there, are, there are no lyrics. It is like kind of got to go. Oh, oh, oh! So it's actually it, it might be like a uh, what do they call those? The chants? Yeah. And Gregorian chants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ask, are we trying to be stealthy? <laughs> or, or can I try I mean, and creep him I'm out? I'm being stealthy. I don't know if you guys are being stealthy or not, but that this is what you see inside when you peek your head inside. Boom, terrain shift. Uh, a lot of grass in the muscle. Low, low res. It's not that low. It was kind of low res. Oh, it's just kind of low res. So to zoom out oh. again. All right, so it's there's a nice frog inside. There's some flowers. There's some double doors. Um, I can see through the double doors. God damn it, fog of war! Hold on. <laughs> you said fog. You can see it doesn't really. Is this a statue or like an undead person? That's a statue. Okay. Uh, reading. There's a statue reading something. So it's a statue of a person reading, yes. Is okay. it a book or is it a stone tablet? It appears to turn on Fog of War. Um, ah, sorry. Actually a chair. <laughs> and only a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Who will sit in the chair of doom? All right, and then I click on reveal areas. There we go. I can see a room <laughs> and a chair. <laughs> Shut up! You don't see the chair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you see a room. Pretend that chair doesn't exist. Um, there is a person, well, not a person. There is a statue of a person reigning a tome. There is a tome behind that person. There is some flowers. They look fairly fresh from where you're standing. Um, the, the room is lit by torchlight. And there is a nice rug on the floor. And the entire floor is made out of a pink ish stone interweaved with like bits of white 70s stone. bathroom tiling yes ex actually that's not too far off because the ti my kitchen tiling my old kitchen tiling from my parents house looked very similar yep wow yeah that's what you see guys I want to look at the torches okay how the, long uh... ago, how much burning have they been on them Oh, so how soon were they lit, lit? So, Roland, you recognize these torches as ever-burning torches. Drats. Actually, I could use an ever-burning torch. <laughs> Let me move. Check, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, who wants to be in the mausoleum so I know what uh, characters to... I will go in. All right, so uh, let me... I plan this to go in. Oh, you go go... Okay, so let me copy and paste you guys and move you guys there. Um, I gotta start archiving stuff. Two, 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 two. How's the puppy today? Puppy time. <laughs> How is no. Leah doing? No, no more climbing. You're up high enough. Say hello to everyone. Blah. Blah. Being attacked by a dog. Hi, Leah. How are you? I'll bring you more biscuits to you next time I visit. 
Do you hear that? She's gonna bring you cookies. The British kind. <laughs> Does she recognize the difference? I mean, she must watch some Doctor Who, I guess. Oh, she's Be watched every episode. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, and ginger. Do, 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 do. Yeah, see how tiny we are compared to the background. You know? Like, is everything's out of. Okay, so I may have made. I may have looked for a mausoleum right now, and found a mausoleum, and. And we just went with it. And know? just went with it. Okay. So this is a giant mausoleum. This is a giant mausoleum. It was not to scale. We're experiencing an episode of Alice in Wonderland. And we're in the midst of the drink me, eat me. Okay. It, it, it's when we walk past the statues we shrug. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah, that's what you see. There is that another set of double doors right here. If it, in case you, you guys, you know. Alright. I'm going I'm to kick open this door. Okay. Stealthily. Because I... I'm still using that 23. Okay, here. How do you kick open a door stealthily? Just let it happen. Absent <laughs> with his toes and foot. Because it open with his kick. That's not a kick, though. A kick. He's like <laughs> using his foot to kick in the door open. I think there needs to be force. No kick. I'm not a fucking physicist, but there needs to be force, and that force would be, you know, met with an now equal- Now I'm no physicist. If you start a sentence that way, the answer is just stop talking. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You can't figure it out. doesn't mean somebody can't. <sighs> okay. We live in a world of magic. I'm a magic casting- I'm a- I cast magic spells as I fight people. Okay. I create several layers of cushioned air around my foot that act like that actually act like sort of a spring. So as I kick, no, just stop climbing. <laughs> as I kick the door, the air compresses and distributes the load, the force of the push across the entire door. You pull some kung fury shit. Let's just put it yes. that way. Ryan, have you seen that movie yet? Not yet. You need to see it! Which movie? I know. I'll, I'll probably watch it during break tomorrow. It's a movie called Kung Fury that was kickstarted. It's like an homage to the, the 80s, and it's fucking awesome. It's like a buddy cop movie meets Kung Fu, but without the buddy part. Just, Is it on Netflix just, or anything? It's on YouTube, actually. Kung Fu. Okay. It just type in Kung Fury, Stop. and it's 30 minutes long. Um, Hitler's in it. Because reasons. Let's kill Hitler. And, um, it's, it's pretty good. I liked it. What First was... rule of time travel. What's going on? Why did I hear a farting sound? <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing with this fart gel for like half an hour now. <laughs> <laughs> Just has some really weird sex over there. Just saying. <laughs> Part of me is glad that Brandon's not I here. I thought I was on mute when I hit that. I didn't... Part of me is glad that they don't have their cameras on. That that's the other part that I'm kind of glad about. <laughs> Can we get on with this? Yeah, well, you kick open the door. The giant mausoleum, so. You kick open the door, and what I is... I look at the book. Alright, the book is written in Elvish. I believe you can I speak Elvish. Elvish. It is a um, song of the dead. Um, praise praise be onto Lord Shemel, blah blah blah, that kind of thing. Probably Lord Shemel is the person who's buried in this too. Um... um I strum the tune and I sing the song. Okay. Um, so behind the door, I need to find the 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 thing. The thingy Comes thing. Comes the songs of his people. Comes the songs of his people. 
Everybody get on the floor. Everybody with the dinosaur. No. So that's the song of your people. <laughs> yes. Hold on. I need to get the cat. I get a bonus soon. I want to see if I can put some money aside to try and get the. But that loud one was awesome. With that long one. The song of my wife's people is probably the electric slide. The song of my people is probably Devil Went Down to Georgia. <laughs> 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 that make our kids song the electric devil went down to georgia <laughs> okay um i am trying to find um okay here we go um you don't see anything at the moment I'm suddenly reminded of that episode of Twilight Zone. <laughs> um, I would like you to make a perception check, please. Sure. Click, click. Go, go, click. gadget eyes. Perception. All right, you hit the magic number. There is a shimmering wall in front of you, Evan Wood. Um... In, An illusion. Inside the wall. Um, not my, it's not my trick, Michael. My illusion. It's as if something is... Like, it looks like the air is undulating. Undulating? Undulating. Yeah. That is a... Uh, that is an interesting adjective. Mm-hmm. Or so verb, in this case. As if light. something... With a gelatinous consistency, is in is, there, is there a skeleton of a one Darth Sidious? Um, floating in the middle of the air. No. Okay. He does not I appear. Stab to... the air with my sword. Uh, your sword becomes embedded in gelatin. It is a magic sword, by the way. Okay. Um. It 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 and the gelatinous cube takes roll damage. Uh sword. And we can start initiative. Do 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 Did that work? Uh no. Did roll anything? I didn't hear a noise. Nope. Okay. Didn't bro. Now I hear a noise. Oh, initiative. Oh, initiative. 1d8 plus 4. Thank you. So, gelatinous. Oh, lovely. I did, I did 6 damage to that thing. Awesome. Gelatinous then... cube. I have lots and lots of pictures to choose from. So, and then uh, he is... I guess I should roll initiative. Yep. He's not that small. He is actually large. Nineteen. Ah. Um, you also spot the other one over there with your roll. It's a smaller baby one. Oh no! It's no, it's, it's big. big. It's big. They're both big. Okay. All right. Um, and then we can start initiative, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so let's see. Ginger got a 20, I got a 19. Yeah, this is still counting from the last time, so I'm just... So Ginger got the 19, you, you got a 19. Um, so Roland got a 8. Eight. Marwin got a 4, so everything above here it was from last time. Okay, and the cubes. I don't think they're going to go very quickly. <laughs> Because that's the, usually the way it. You, oh yeah, it's a minus four to dex. How 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 wonderful. Okay, well they're giant. I know giant what they are. <laughs> not exactly dexterous. Oh, they're not not bad. So they'll go on fifteen. Cube. That didn't do what I wanted to. And Ginger, you're on deck. Um, Ginger, you see Evan Wood stab his sword in the air and it gets caught and that's when you see this gelatinous cubic looking 
thing. I'm going to um, cast Bardic Inspiration on Evanwood. Okay. Sweet. I feel inspired. You are very inspired. Um, Do I have to use the plus one to attack, right? Do I have to use it before I roll? I believe you can can use it after after the result of a roll. Uh, I guess I could just look it up. It's right there. Um, Details. Is that a whole turn, Rhiannon? I don't think it is, is it? Can't be. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna quickly check while Evan would well, quickly check. Also quickly check. Um, Bardic Inspiration. Um, it is a bonus action on your turn to choose one creature other than yourself within 60 feet of you who can hear you. That creature gains one Bardic Inspiration die. Excellent. Once within the next 10 minutes, the creature can roll the die and add the number rolled to one ability check, attack, roll, or saving throw it makes. The creature can wait until after it rolls the d20 before deciding to use the Bardic Inspiration die, but must decide before the DM says whether the roll succeeds or fails. Oh, okay, before. Okay, excellent. Um, Rihanna, you still are able to attack. That was your bonus action. All right, so I will viciously mock the cube for being stupid and cube-like with no beard. <clears throat> Okay, you you can viciously... Can you viciously mock the cube? Can you viciously... Uh, is, it, is it immune to psychic attack? Um, it is immune to... Well, you don't know of what it's immune to. I'm asking you out of character. Um, it is a... not immune to psychic attacks. Then, yes, I guess you can mock a gelatinous cube. Yeah, yeah, I guess you, just, I guess you can. They have to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> yeah, this guy's not making a wisdom Stop. saving throw. Leah, leave me be. I'm playing games with people. Yeah, he. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. All right. What? No. What's the damage? Uh, one d four. Find your mother. Find your mother. Am I supposed to roll that? Yes, please. Um, Damn. Wow. But he does have disadvantage, right? That's impressive. I don't think disadvantage does anything with damage. No, no, no. The the cube will have disadvantage on his roll when he attacks. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. um, Alright. Would you like to move, Ginger? I'm good right where I am. Okay. Evan Wood. Give me a second. Dog's not behaving right now. Okay. Now I have that dinosaur song stuck in my head. Everybody get on the floor. Everybody off the floor. Fine. 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 <laughs> Try to lighten the mood, you guys. You guys suck. That's serious business. I'm playing creepy music on iTunes to get fit the mood. We're back. Okay. Oh, on so, deck. Question. Yes. Did I, re- I like, did we recover any spell slots when we rested, or did we not rest? We did not rest. You did not long okay. rest. You need to long rest to recover spell okay. slots. Okay. I'm I'm attacking with both hands. Okay. It still doesn't work. All right. Uh. Plus six to hit plus four. Slash roll. You have to be falling asleep not to be able to hit this thing. Let me just tell you that. Okay. Did I hit it? Oh, yeah, you hit it. I did seven damage to it. Okay, awesome. So, well, minus seven. Minus seven. All right. Uh, would you like to move, or are you happy where you are? Is this double door thing big enough for two cubes to stand side by side? Yes. There is some space down here. I'm going to stand right in the middle of these double doors. Okay. Awesome. And I'm going to hope they don't consume and uh, digest me. Digest you. Yeah, that, 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 would be, that would be a thing. All right. That's my plan right now. Okay. Sounds good. Um, these guys can only move three, so one, two. All right, first one is Um, going to... Out of character? Yes. Monstrous enemies make me very afraid. (laughs) These are monstrous enemies. Yeah. 
All right, so Evan Wood, he is going to try to move up into your grill. You need to make a dexterity check. He is. I need to make a morale check. <laughs> Uh, a dex check, you say? Yeah. Dex check. <clears throat> All right. You are not engulfed, but you... you... take those pseudo arms and keep them to yourself, mister. But you are able to be... You have the choice of being pushed back five feet or pushed to the side five feet of this cube since you saved. I guess I'll go back five. Okay. Um, uh, can this guy, sh all right, all right, since he did not move, he will move up one, trying to enter the room. His friend is going to stuck. get stuck. He might attempt to squeeze, which would be take a while okay um in effect in effects in effectual cubes Roland, it is your turn how many squares can i move per round um you should be able to move six um yeah one and i'm gonna start singing brave brave bravely so try to inspire people around <laughs> singing about brave sir robin of course <laughs> bravely run right away away Five. You're, I did. You're, and I bravely ran away to there. Emphasizing on bravely ran away. Exactly. Okay. All right. Um, I have ranged weapons, apparently. I'll give you a sling. Everybody has a goddamn sling. Okay. That's a strength weapon or a finesse That's weapon? That's a, a dex, dex weapon. weapon. Range weapon. Range weapon. Oh, sling. It's a sling. Have you seen a sling, David and Goliath? Do you know what it is? Yeah, I know what it is. <laughs> And... That was a serious question. Not everybody knows medieval weaponry. <laughs> and that's 1d4? Uh, yes. It would be 1d4 <laughs> plus your dexterity modifier. Oh, good. Thank God it's not strength. <laughs> it's not strength, <laughs> believe me. We, we, we wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> Mr. I can, I, can, I, can, I can roll... Just, just don't try to throw daggers. Okay. Hey, that worked. That, but that's also strength-based. <laughs> Drone weapons are strength based. Okay, it did not work when I clicked the attack button. Yeah, the the thing is messed up. You have to type it up, man. Yeah, you might have to okay. type it up. Things are messed up. Okay. I'm hungry. What do I want to eat? <laughs> Brandon's Can I suggest some jello? <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's a great Indian place that just opened up, so I probably will order from there. Oh, uh, no, I like it. That's a nine. Sorry, I meant to do. Plus oh, two. yeah, you can. You hit it. These guys are not. These guys are not hard to hit at all. How is how is the armor class less than ten? Because it says so in the book. That is impressive. <laughs> that it is very impressive. It's probably because of its negative decks too. It has huge negative decks. Booyah! Two damage. Yay! Two Woo. damage. Woo. And can I give, can I use my bardic inspiration on someone? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Go crazy. Uh, Evan Wood, can you, can you get another plus six? Sure, I don't think there's a limit to that. I don't think there's a I limit, can. yeah, you can... You, you can do a lot more damage and do more than I can, so you might as well... Uh, I don't think I can use it for damage, but I think I have to use it for attack. You gotta use it for attack. Uh, Marwin, you're on deck. Um, I'm going to cast Firebolt. Oh, I, I forgot I could use... An OD, but a, a OD, but a good one. Uh, wow. You hit. <laughs> really? I'm not joking. No, wait, that's a natural so, one, isn't it? Never mind, you don't yeah, hit. You don't hit. That was a natural uh, one. But if it wasn't a natural uh, one, you would have hit. Just say uh, it. 5% chance to be bad at this game. <laughs> Marwin, would you like to move? No. No, I'm, I'm, I'm standing still in protest. Alright, and then we're at Ginger again. I'm going to viciously mock the one in front of Evan Wood again. Okay, go for it. Um... 
e20 minus minus 4. <laughs> yeah, no, no, just just hit it. Just hit it. It won't <laughs> hit it. Don't quit it. Don't ask why I did that. I don't know why. Oh, I don't want to quit to use. I've got to use my arcane skill. Awesome. All right. Chipping it down. Chipping, chipping, chipping. All right. And it will have its negativities. Evan Wood. It's a cube. Grr. A cube. Or a Yeah. <laughs> it makes undulating sounds. I don't know. Well. Look how it undulates. I'm just going to... It just sounds bad when you say that. <laughs> I'm Jilly. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna attempt to hit it uh, plenty of times. Yeah, you hit. You could, you could probably close your eyes and hit this th goddamn thing. Uh, nice. I do 10 damage to it. Nice. I'm going to use my action surge to swing again. Yay! Because I can. Yeah! It's my action surge for the... Until my next short rest, I guess. Okay. Boom! <sighs> nice. Um, so, minus 14. Okay. 24 damage that turn. Yeah. It. it looks... It's bleeding liquid <laughs> of some... It's got some insides that aren't inside anymore. Yeah. A dagger falls out? I don't know. Uh, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so Marwin leaps for the dagger and then he's consumed with <laughs> gelatinous food. All right, Evan Wood. Worth it. Um, it's going to try to invade your space again. <laughs> Please I'm make a dick... stop it. All right, please make a dexterity roll. It's save. Push to the side or push back? It's the side. All right. It shambles forward. If I had lost, what would happen? You would be engulfed. Oh. Yeah. Don't lose. <laughs> well, I'll try not to. <laughs> two. All right. So he's coming up behind him. Roland. My turn already. Yep. I will uh, try to uh, cast the Ray of Frost. All right. That. Go for it. Why won't you be eaten? Oh, I got plenty of targets next turn. Guys, you might not want to stand there. <laughs> Just saying. I, I, and the good thing is that it reduces its speed by 10 feet. Wow, great. Now it can move one square. Um, yeah, you hit it. It does damage. Run away. 12 <laughs> cold damage. Does the does gelatin start to frost over a little it's, bit? You know, the front of it starts where it hits. Where it hits, it does frost over it. Has anybody ever frozen jello before? It doesn't, it doesn't taste good afterwards. And yeah, as it turns out, Freezing and then melting and then freezing and then melting jello. Turns out for some really disgusting stuff. Mm 